Welcome to Infigyan my dear friends in this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations here we are going to take up one system of equation. One equation is given to us x cube minus 3x square plus 5x equal to 1. Second equation is y cube minus 3y square plus 5y equal to 5 and we have to evaluate the value of x plus y. So let's get started by rewrite the equation 1 and 2. So let me rewrite it x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 1 equal to 0 and this is our equation 1 I will call. Similarly equation 2 I can write y cube minus 3y square plus 5y minus 5 equal to 0. So I can write this second equation further in this manner y cube minus 3y square plus 5y minus 1 equal to 4. Now you can see the analogy between these two equations. Left hand side is identically same except variable. Variable in equation 1 that is x, in other equation that is y. So what I am going to do exactly, I will solve equation number 1. How? Let me write 1 x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 1 equal to 0. I will write this one as x cube minus 3x square and this 5x I can split 3x plus 2x. So I will write plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Now consider x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 1 in one bracket and 2x separately. Now it is reminding something on algebraic identity which is x minus 1 whole cube. It is equal to x cube minus 1 minus 1 cube that is minus 1 then minus 3ab a minus b so I will write minus 3a square b so minus 3x square and plus 3ab square so 3x. Now you can see both are matching. Okay, so I will write this one as this is I will write as x minus 1 whole cube. Now you can see the second term 2 times shall I write in this manner? So I need to add 2. What I am trying to do? Making the bracket identical. So in this way I can write my equation equation number 1 is now converting into this format. Now see how I can write our equation number 2 in the same format. We have solved LHS only right hand side is 0. So what I will do I will add 4 to the RHS. So similar way I can write y minus 1 whole cube 2 times y minus 1 plus 2 and right hand side I will write 4. So see the difference between the two. Let me write here x minus 1 whole cube plus 2 times x minus 1 equal to minus 2. And second equation was y minus 1 whole cube plus 2 times y minus 1 equal to minus 2 plus 4. Just check this out. So this equation will give us plus 2. Now let me call this is one equation A and this is equation B or in the serial order 3 and 4. Okay. Now simply add both equations. What I will be having? Let me write A plus B or 3 plus 4. So I, what I will be having? X minus 1 whole cube plus Y minus 1 whole cube. Done. Now plus 2 times x minus 1 plus 2 times y minus 1 that would be equal to 0. Once you will add both you will get RHS 0 as we are having minus 2 and plus 2 in the RHS. Now if I will club the last two term and I will apply the formula the algebraic identity for a cube plus b cube. So if I will apply a cube plus b cube here 
and I will simply add these two terms. What I will write? So let me write a cube plus b cube formula first. That would be equal to a plus b in bracket a square plus b square minus a b. So if I will consider this is a, this is b, then let me write the bracket first a plus b. So I will write x minus 1 plus y minus 1. a plus b is done. This part is done. Now bracket a square plus b square. So I will write x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 1. This is y. y minus 1 whole square minus x minus 1 times y minus 1 bracket is closed and then we have 2x minus 2 plus 2y minus 2. So if I will take 2 out then I can write 2 times x plus y minus 2. x minus 1 plus y minus 1. So x plus y minus 2 equal to 0. Now you can see it is common. Which term is common? Let me write one more time x plus y minus 2 in bracket we are having x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square minus x minus 1 y minus 1 bracket is closed and then we have plus 2 x plus y minus 2 equal to 0. Now you can see x plus y minus 2 x plus y minus 2. I will take completely common. So let me write here x plus y minus 2 common. What I will be having? x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square minus x minus 1 y minus 1. This part is over. Now once I will take x plus y minus 2 common then it would be 2 left in the second term place. Right hand side is 0. Now product is 0. f dot g equal to 0. Conclusion f equal to 0. g equal to 0. So let me write here the first bracket equal to 0. So I will write x plus y minus 2 equal to 0 or x plus y equal to 2. Required answer. Now come to the bracket part. Let me write here x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square minus x minus 1 times y minus 1 plus 2. It cannot be zero value as we know using AMGM inequality we can conclude this value would be always positive. So positive number plus 2 that would be greater than 0 obviously. One more thing x cannot be equal to 1. You can write here x cannot be equal to 1, y cannot be equal to 1 as it is not solution of the original equation. You can see 1 minus 3 plus 5. So 3. 3 cannot be equal to 1. 1 minus 3 plus 5. So 3 cannot be equal to 5. So it is not solution part. And otherwise also this bracket is not going to be 0. Always positive plus 2. So that will, value will be obviously positive. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.